We just got to Santorini. I actually had to stand in line to get a charter ticket. So definitely wake up early to you want to be one of the first people off chartering. The city is on top of the hill. So you can either walk, ride the donkeys or take the trolley, which is always busy. So the tip that we learned is that you can actually skip all these all together and just take a boat all the way to Oya. And trust me, Oya is so much more beautiful. And I think the cost was like $40. What's was so awesome is that you don't have to wait in line and you go right to where like the churches with the blue domes are and that's really where everything that you want to see is. The only thing is, is we did actually have to wait for the boat. Yeah, that sucked, but they come every hour on hour, so we just have to wait it out. It's actually a really pretty boat ride and then we made friends, which was so cool. And they told us, you know, good restaurants to eat at. The water here is super blue. This is a very, very beautiful place to visit but just know that it's super small and as you will see there's going to be a lot of crowds so i feel like because we took the boat to oya we did miss a lot of crowds in the morning also it's really 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 hot like how hot was it babe you, you almost passed out That's not hot walk it <laughs> <laughs> once you actually get to oya you do have to walk up a super high hill to meet the buses that actually take you up all the way to the top there we're going to be meeting our photographer and they're gonna be taking a picture in the red flying dress. There's a whole bunch of companies that actually do this. I did find the one we went with on Instagram and they had really good reviews. Since we were on the cruise, we were really limited on the time frames that we could choose to do the photo shoot. And they don't actually recommend the time we did because it is so hot, I'm not joking. But either way, I'm really, really glad that we did this option. It was just a cool way to experience. Church. Here? And a pro tip, make sure you bring a fan and some water because it was so hot, y'all. Feeling better? Yes, oh my gosh, so much better. We took the bus back to Fira. Once we got there, we noticed really quickly there is a line already forming to take the trolley thing back down and you will be so shocked at how fast that trolley line is going to get. So my biggest tip for you is either go back early and take that trolley down or get in line right away because I'm telling you, I watched somewhere else where they said, oh, go to a restaurant, the trolley line's gonna go down. It did not. We went to the restaurant thinking, oh, this trolley line's gonna go down and it didn't. It wasn't, we didn't get back on until like almost 10 something at night. Some people ended up walking down the donkey trail and they say that is super, super hard and that it reeks like donkey poo. 
So I don't recommend that, especially from everyone we talked to. So many people were taking pictures because we're all over here seriously watching the line, which to go down the tram, it was actually $6 per person. So it's definitely affordable. It's just, you have to get in that line. Look at it, it looks so pretty. Oh my God, it's like a roller coaster. We are not a roller coaster. <laughs>